watch from Bloom Where You're Planted, and we have exciting news on the beekeeping front today. It looks like we have a new group of girls. So that is very exciting. I set this trap up just a couple weeks ago for this very purpose. <laughs> I'll show you what's on the inside of the trap. This is another way I'm gonna try to get a swarm this season. Is um, This is a nuke box, and this is what you would get bees in if you ordered them for a Langstroth hive. You would get an established colony of bees in here with a queen. Um, but I just ordered the boxes to put them in, and you can get them from any um, bee supply company. This is called an Easy Nuke and it just it has a hole right here at entrance right there and i cut a slot in the back there so i could put a feeder in so i could feed my colony once it gets established all right so i can help them out if i need to and inside I had a swarm in here that I collected from somebody's patio. So obviously there's some comb in there you can see. And I did put it in the freezer. I've got a large freezer. So I put it in there just to make sure everything was killed. Any wax moths, sometimes wax moths can be attracted to the wax when you've got it stored in your garage or something. So I made sure I put it in the freezer to kill everything. And now I'm going to set it up for my bees, hopefully. All right, I've got top bars that I've put some melted wax on to make them feel like stain and building on those bars. Lemongrass swarm lure. I'm gonna put it right by the entrance. It smells like a queen. And let's put the bars in. And this one, I cut the frame to fit my top bar hive. So, and I put some wax on it, so this will just slip right in there too. It gives them a little head start. All right, now one thing about these is they do collect water. I guess the water comes in at the top here. I'm not sure, but they do collect water. So I'm gonna put a board over it to serve as a roof to keep it waterproof. Okay, and some bricks to just make sure that it doesn't blow off here in the Texas wind. And now we've got another swarm trap set up. <laughs> Come on, bees. Meanwhile, my bees over here are doing great. They're as active as ever. Get ready, get set, it's bee season. <laughs> Unfortunately, my neighbor, my sweet friends, got a group of their own bees this morning in their wall. So that is a very tricky situation. So I have a call in to a good friend of mine who is a bee rescuer. That's his job. So um, he hasn't gotten back with me yet though. So I'm just gonna try another approach. So I rigged up this little swarm trap and the lure is lemongrass oil right there. And there's the opening and there are frames painted with wax inside. So we'll see if we can convince the bees to move from the here into the swarm trap. I really doubt they'll move because they look like they're settled in there, but it's worth a try until my friend gets a hold of me and maybe he can figure out something else to do. Because the queen's in the wall, and unless you get the queen out, they're not gonna budge. And I really can't reach in there. There's no way to reach in there and try to remove the comb with the queen in it 
out of there. So we're gonna try this in the meantime until he comes up with a better solution. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, we got the swarm trap up. And hopefully they will decide to choose this as their new home instead of the house. We'll wait and see. It wouldn't hurt to pray a little. Unfortunately, my method did not work. It was kind of a long shot. So in comes my friend Ryan to save the day. And he gave the homeowners an estimate of what it would cost to relocate this hive of honeybees. He was really good about explaining to them exactly what he was going to do and how much it would cost to get this hive relocated. Hey you guys, my friend Ryan is here and he made, made a business out of rescuing bees for a living. And he is also one of the good guys, one of the heroes. <laughs> he has helped me out with my bees quite a few times and he is the most super chill person I've ever met. <laughs> well, thank you for that. <laughs> Which makes him really good with bees. Okay, let's go get these girls. <laughs> All right. So the idea is to come at this from the roof to get these girls. I am not going to assist today. I'm just going to relax and let the expert do his work. <laughs> the reason we're coming in from the roof is we can just see the bees going up. Do you see the queen? I've only seen one side of it, but I haven't seen a queen yet. I never did see the queen up there, and yet these bees are not moving off of this cookie sheet at all. It almost leaves me wondering if I missed her and she didn't move from there. Otherwise, she's in the cluster of bees up there, and we'll get there next. But I'm going to do one more careful run through and make sure I didn't miss her here. Those right there, that is brood. The solid part on there, those are baby bees. Sometimes with the crying and the shaking, when you try to get something open, the queen is just determined not to stay on So she might still be up in the roof. She might be. 
Okay. Which, which makes sense as, a, as an instinct. That if yes. something's attacking, maybe you get off the comb and try to survive it. That makes sense, yes. Um, it's not my favorite of their instincts. It complicates things. Giving them some already built out comb. Mm -hmm. Very we'll nice. A head start for these girls. And if you found the queen, would you put her in the clip? Yes. If I found the queen, I would confine her to the clip. And the clip has slots in the side that are the right size where the workers can get through to take care of the queen. Mm -hmm. But the queen cannot get out of the clip. And so then she becomes our anchor, so to speak, while they're going through this transition process. We don't want them to consider going somewhere else and getting themselves in trouble instead of staying in this box. Okay. So she is locked up just temporarily until they get used to the new box. And when would you go in and let her out? Uh, I'd let her out usually between five and seven days. Okay. Uh, it kind of depends. If the weather didn't look like it was going to allow that, I might go as soon as three or four days. Basically what I want is just to see some sort of investment in this box before I do that. Uh, to some degree, pollen going in would be an example of that. New comb being built would be an example of that. Just an admission on their part that they picked this box now. Okay. All right, so we're back to looking for the clean up here. <sighs> What an exciting job you have, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> it's never the same thing twice. I love that about it. <sighs> got the box taped together really securely and he's gonna set it on the roof and hopefully the queen's in it and they will all start to file in. That'll be the easy way. We need an easy button here. Wow, they're, marching. they're marching in! Good! Oh, I wish I could get up there and show you guys. It's really amazing. When they start marching in, that means the queen must be in the box. That's good news. Now it's just a waiting game. Too, too many. I wasn't going to say it till I safely hit the ground with that, but I tried that the other day and had the bottom board come off. Oh, oh no. Oh no. He's everywhere. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for them to realize that home is the box now. Okay. Trying to get those last stragglers. Go. 
there they go, off to their new home. Now, Ryan, did you close them up at all? No, ma'am. Oh my goodness, so you just, you'll just keep your veil on and you'll just drive. I probably will not keep the veil on. You won't, okay. No. Okay. I'll just let life happen. Okay. Right. And they'll probably be nice to me. Okay. I'm thinking about next time. I'm not being mad at me. Okay. <laughs> and I raised up one corner there so that they have ventilation, additional ventilation. Okay. Uh, at that point, I guess I could tape over the entrance, but I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to drive gentle, and they're going to stay in the box because it's nice. Okay. And a certain percentage are not in the box right now, and I'd be locking them out if I did that right now. All right. Wow. All right. Well, it was wonderful watching you today. And where will these ladies go? They will be going to RA Peary over off I-30 in Butner, okay. uh, where they'll be joining about 25, 30 other hives and becoming part of our educational programming for the future when we're allowed to start doing that kind of thing in groups again. Awesome. That sounds great. <laughs> If you are in need of a bee rescuer, or you want to learn more about keeping a hive of your own, Ryan is a great resource of information based on experience. He was a backyard beekeeper until recently when he and his beautiful wife moved onto a few acres where he could expand his apiary. He looks forward to using this new property to teach others about this amazing world of honeybees and how we can help them not just survive, but to thrive.